The nonprofit organization Haven has been serving Gallatin County since 1979, and the current shelter was built near that time as well. MTN's Annie Johnson has the latest on where the nonprofit is in raising money for a new shelter. Now all you can see is open land behind me, but soon this will be the new home for domestic violence survivors. Our current shelter is confidential and it is a single family home, so it is housing 12 people maximum, um, which the need in the Gallatin Valley is larger than that. The current shelter is very limited in its capacity of who it can serve, but the new shelter has the potential to eliminate many of those restrictions. Having more capacity, we also are wanting to be able to house male identifying survivors and all genders, as well as pets. Um, a lot of survivors want to take their pets with them to heal, which is very common. And we also know that pets are most likely also being abused in the home. The new shelter costs $8 million which Haven has 68% of that already, but the nonprofit is asking for community support to secure the last 32%. We are offering a couple different options. So right now, just general donations to the capital campaign, and we are also selling bricks. So if people want to leave a legacy at the shelter and leave their name or leave in honor of or a memory of someone else, they are able to buy a full brick for $1,000 or a half brick for $500. Which is priceless for the survivors who will use the new facility. It's incredibly important as we we want to be offering a space that survivors can heal, that they know they can go to. No longer are survivors going to be in hiding. They are able to end the silence and end the stigma around domestic violence. And we want to tell this community that survivors are here and we want to support them. We want to bring them back to the community and we're not going to we're not going to allow for them to be in hiding anymore. The shelter hopes to break ground by the spring of next year. Reporting in Bozeman, Annie Johnson, MTN News. If you'd like some more information on how you can donate or about the new shelter, you can visit this story on our website.